Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create a simple zoom system for our Cinemation cameras. Something like this. Ok, let's jump into Unity and create our zoom system. Ok, actually what we are going to do is a really simple. Um, we are going to just be in mind that um, this system is only working with Cinemachine machine freeload camera because we're going to change um, the radius and the height of uh, these rigs um, on the camera at the runtime to create our zoom system. So as you can see by um, changing this value, we can just um, sorry we can just create this zoom and uh, move our camera physically so we don't uh, uh, want to create a field of view sort of zoom system and instead we're going to move the um, camera physically so we need to access um, these rigs from the script and then change their value at runtime let's create our C sharp script call this one zoom cam actually I will start coding and fast forward the video and I'll be back um, when I finished and I'll explain um, what I did so let's go Okay, as you can see, it's a very simple script. Um, all I did is just creating a min zoom and max zoom, which are the multipliers for um, these values over here. And then um, accessing and caching our camera onto the start method and then create some um, orbit reference and cache them again. And within the update, we are just going to um, update um, these values um, of the orbits and just create our zoom. As you can see, there's a um, new attribute here, which is a subclass of Cinemachine Core System, um, which uh, is called Axis State Property, and it will expose. Let me just um, add our created script. It will expose these um, settings and values with this single line of code and attribute, which is the same as um, these values here, y-axis and x-axis. We just implemented our own z-axis as the middle mouse button or mouse scroll wheel. So to be honest, if um, this attribute wasn't here, 
um, thanks to Cinemation team, of course. Um, we had a lot of to do to implement our own um, middle mouse button sort of um, scripts or things to um, work uh, with our Zoom system. So, yeah. In the update method, we are going to um, just lerp between min zoom and max zoom and the uh, z axis value. So let's just hit play and see it in action. Now, by scrolling the middle mouse button, as you can see in the editor. And the scene view, we are changing the orbit values and moving our camera physically. So, as I said, these are the multipliers for um, the one means the default value, whatever the value is in the orbits as default is one. And we can just multiply it by um, this max zoom, which we implemented with a range float between one and five. You can just um, play with this and make yourself happy um, with whatever number that you want. Okay, yeah, that's all. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, just um, remember to uncheck save during play because if you check this one it will check every single value of these properties during play mode so if we um, zoom in and then exit play mode um, the default values will be um, these values or whatever values that are in the last frame of the playtime and it will mess uh, with our um, system so make sure to uncheck save during play and you're good to go. And of course you can just play um, with these settings and make yourself happy. Yeah. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you didn't. And like my videos, comment and just let me know. What type of tutorial are you into? And I will do my best to create them for you. Okay, yeah, that's all. Thanks again, and until the next one, cheers.